This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Taja Davis. Your child's smartphone could be a doorway to dangers like drug use and human trafficking. Today, Tucson police presented a class designed to help parents understand where social media use can take their children and to how to understand the special language kids use to cover their tracks. Police say it's essential to see what's on your child's phone and other devices and make sure you know who your child is contacting online. Um, your child's going to say, what, you don't trust me? Well, it's not that you don't trust them, but you don't know who they're connecting with. Uh, it's like they explained in the class, how many friends do your children have on Facebook and how many of those people do they really know? Because if they have over 100 friends, there's a good possibility that there's somebody there that they have no idea who that person is. And just because it's got a face and it's got a name, that doesn't mean that's that person. It could easily be a predator that's, that's accessing your child's account now to, to, make, to build a relationship. Police say understand the apps your child has on their phone. There are apps that are disguised to look like innocent things like calculators, but they may help your child hide secret files like nude photos. We have more advice on Kega9.com. And long lines at several Target stores today amid widespread cash register outages. Target acknowledged guests were unable to make purchases at its stores. Meanwhile, shoppers took to social media to complain that registers weren't working at dozens of stores across the U.S. and pointed and posted images of very long lines. Target tweeted its, quote, aware of a systems issue in store and are working as quickly as possible to get this fixed. It's unclear how many Target locations were impacted or what caused the outage. Registers at Tucson locations are up and running again. Let's check in on weather with April Madison. April? Taja, we have definitely seen a very dry start to our monsoon, but at least we saw less wind and we're going to see those seasonal highs continue. We've got 96 is what we saw right around the 7 o'clock hour, but overnight we'll get down to those 70s and eventually even the upper 60s as we start the day for your Father's Day. We take a look at it on your seven day forecast right now, 102. Now keep in mind 101 is our norm, so we're staying right around that, but we're also expecting to stay dry for the next seven days. Taja? April, thank you. And for more news and weather updates, head to our website, kega9.com, and follow us on social media.